Hello everybody, wanted to make a video of our uh, nice custom built swamp cooler that I made out of a trash can this size so it will fit this area next to our bed. I had to put a little plate on it because it wasn't so steady and I got wheels underneath it to make it portable. As you can see I drilled holes in the front and I tell you it's the same in the back on the other side. And, uh, I would have used my bigger fan but it's got this stupid lip right here and before I built that cradle it was down lower so it was too low for the bed but I'm gonna build another custom one I'll make a video of. I'll show you the inside of it. What I did to make it real easy to service and fill up and everything else is I uh, made a lid out of this FRP. You can use anything you want. I put it on some hinges there. Made sure it fits flush. I got a 12 volt pump and a 12 volt fan, but you could use 120 volt, whatever you want. And I use this PETS line. I just drilled some holes in it, face them down, ran a T there, and ran it all the way around. And I'm using a self tapping drywall screws to hold the pad up. And I can open it up and I can wet the pads as I'm filling it up. And I got a little 105 gallon per hour pump on there that's more than sufficient to get the water flowing. The one thing I would recommend is uh, put the screen on over your padding, whichever kind you decide to use. And uh, if you go like I did with these, uh, with the hole saw, next time I try it, I'm going to try to put them at an angle so that bottom lips at an angle so the water will stay in there better but yeah this little thing cranks really good really cool air and uh, really high volume of air when I want it when I when they need it so uh, anyway best of luck on your project it's easy to do costs less than a hundred bucks and you can make it fit whatever size you want for your needs. See, my doggies are enjoying it. Laid out. Buddy and Shadow, the kids. You look funny in the sunny, buddy. <laughs> All right, everybody. Have fun.